Hello. I am back with uh, Night in the Woods. Let's see what the young cat is up to today. We shall see. All right, May. Time to wake up. See what the, what's on the computer. Away message. Annual harp best play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out. See the haunted history of Possum Springs. Um, sorry, my cat is uh scratching up. Like, don't do that. Yeah, uh, not paying attention to me. Uh, happy Halloween, dude. Oh, it's Halloween. Get spooked or something. Okay, so there's something going on at the old pickaxe. Um, so we can see what everyone's up to. All right, let's see if he's uh, cleaned this out. He probably hasn't yet. Oh, he has. Look, he's cleaned it out. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> I know how to open this. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Thanks, Granddad. Aha, it's opening. What the hell? It's an old tooth? Yeah, that's a tooth. Granddad put a tooth in a safe in the basement. Well, never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me, tooth, we're gonna go far. I'll take it. Right. Serious tooth. Nothing else going on here? Just a tooth in a safe. I guess that's it. Definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller, a regular bit wider. Granddad said I was sturdy. Screw it, I am sturdy. Hey, trash bird. <laughs> okay. Down we go. Hey, Mom. Mm hmm. Um. You okay? Sure, honey. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Uh, um. Okay. So, what's the story? I just felt like. It wasn't where I should be. Where you should be. What does that even mean? Ugh, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I'm all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we made as a family. Please, Mom. Where is this coming from? You know, you're the... F the first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we'd been planning for it since you were born. But a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. Uh, 
complicated though. Are you like having one of your mood swings again? Oh, God. Like I'm in the moody, like I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. We'll enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to this house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to. Maybe you wanted me to get out of here. Because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. I'm leaving now. Ouch. Yeah, that didn't go very well. <laughs> They're still there. Well, I mean, it's just worrying perspectives there, isn't it? I mean, we had a lot of expectations for her kid, I guess. That isn't necessarily what she wanted to do, or maybe she's just not ready for it. Whoa, decorations. Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Bats and moon. Against the gloom, the night is black, I made a snack. Cool. I microwaved, pizza I'd saved, though pizza cold, is breakfast gold. That's so true. It really happened. Hold on, I'm just gonna... It's a bit loud. I'm gonna turn down the music volume. A little bit. Alright, that's better, I think. Big Halloween fan here. Yeah, me too, obviously. You going to Harfest? Nah, staying here for the trick-or-treaters. You are a saint. Harfest is dumb. Really? I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? No, I'm not. Eh. Alright. Don't touch my pumpkin. Alright. I will not touch your pumpkin. Let's see what's going on in here real quick. I'm into a cat game. Cats are cool. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of animals in this game, um, but obviously she's the main character of the cat, I guess, and there are quite a few cats. I can't believe they've kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because the old people like the pierogi stand. Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. Bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Oh wait, what what am I doing? Okay, 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 May. You're only gonna get one shot at this. You gotta freeze when he looks over. Even if you're holding a pretzel. No movement. It's simple psychology. You've done this before. You've still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, go. Hey. Hey. Oh no. I messed up. I'm gonna try again. Oh. Probably not gonna get another chance today. Damn it. Okay, so I guess I have to uh, do it daily. A daily attempt. 
Amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. Who's this? Wait. The dudes. Someone hecked up the dudes. Oh yeah. Somebody painted all over it. Who did this? Why did they do it? Uh, Nuke Possum Springs. Where is everybody? What? Oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome. Well, you go easy on my street. Deal. Alright, I'm gonna go back this way. Actually, no, I'll go this way and then I'll go the reverse way back. Because, uh, at the old pickaxe, is that's where the thing is at. The Harfest, I think. Let's talk to these two. See what they say about the smelters today. You going to Harfest? Nah, I'm gonna watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was gonna watch my favorite highlights. <laughs> Why don't you come on out? Might be good. Stretch your legs, see the parade. Never seen the game live? Nah, never. Come on out to Harfest. You never know. Yeah, alright. Yeah, go smelters. Go smelters. Alright, well, I'm glad they're cementing their friendship. Their friendship is mainly based on the sports team, the smelters. But, um, they have problems expressing their feelings to, you know, it's just hard for... The one guy was having problems, but the other guy was like, asking if he wanted to talk about it, but he, uh, he didn't want to. I've never been out here. Oh, it's the old donkey place or whatever. Hey, what's going on out here? Hey, Germ. Hey, May. Hey, I'm Scams. Scams? That's Jenna. Hi. Hi. I'm Bill Don. And I'm Germ. I'm May. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Hey, Jerm, you coming to Harfest? Eh, maybe. Are you guys going? Yeah, we might hop over. Check out the party. I mean, y'all got ghosts here, for real, right? Yeah. What? Little Joe, you know? Yeah, man. Local legend. My man Tapeworm? Out in Bright Harbor? He told me he never got off in, in this town. Because of the ghost. Ah, that's a load of crap. He sneaks into rail yards and snatches up the good and pure. Well, you kids got nothing to fear then. Damn it, old timer, we're pure as the air. Alright, well, I guess I'll see some of you there. Nice to meet you. Same little lady. See you, Germ. See ya. What's out here? Okay, I can't go any further. What's he say if I... Talk to him again. Oh, he's just thinking of uh, spooky stuff. Ghosts and pentagrams. Oops. Alright, let's go. Click clack diner. Oh, what's that? So, how did that arm get here? Someone just running down the street? Oops, my arm fell off. I'll just come back for that later. No one could survive their arm just falling off or being chopped off. Like, not by a doctor. 
What's it still called assault if you chop an arm off? Seems like it should be a different word. Arm choppy. You're under arrest for arm choppy. <laughs> Whoever's arm that was is probably dead. No, nah, definitely. Unless I see someone walking around who until recently had an arm. Arm choppy. Alright, let's go into Snack Falcon. And see if Greg is in here. Hey, Greg. What's up? Hey, man. How's things? Good. Harfest Rush. No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh. I done got horrored. Getting horrored at work is the worst. When I had that job that one time, I worked the longest night rush. You know, you've never mentioned having a job? Uh, that's a story for another time. Anyway, you're here now, and I'm here now. And it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs. All by myself. So what's up? Nothing. Later. Oh, interesting. So what's up? And the other option is... Uh, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Now, should I smash light bulbs? It might take time. And then I don't I don't know if I'll miss something. Well, I'll try. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, let's smash some light bulbs. I remember doing this. I remember doing this exact thing. <laughs> this is funny. Not quite like this, but throwing him into the... I missed. Jeez, mate. Well, he's throwing him terribly. Oh, jeez. Boom. Hey. The F? Bam. Ba blam. Oh, he keeps doing that. Okay, I'm done. Or I lose an eye. He's just throwing cans at my uh, eyes. So, what's up? Nothing. Okay, let's go. Spooky savings. Yeah, smash light bulbs. You know, in the back of the door. You know, when you'd have loads of light bulbs left over and it'd throw them away in the dumpster. Just, we just throw them in there. You know, throw them. Not smash them with a bat or anything. Just, you know, throw them in. Make them explode in there. Or you put some in and then you throw something in there. Make him kind of explode. Um. Video Outpost 2. Um, Mr. Angus? Happy Halloween! Oh, hey, you too. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely, can't you tell? Do your spooky face. <laughs> Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. Nice effort, though. <laughs> Alright. I guess that's it with Angus. Well, I don't know if I really saw this therapy, Shelby. Um, smashing light bulbs, but... Uh, it's just fun. Time. Something to do. Oh, here's a... Uh, what does this say? I've never been to war. Not like the recruiter didn't try, though. Hard. Yeah, I mean, they do try hard. To get you. You hype for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. Gonna get pizza, too. All to myself. Wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? 
Hanging out in really embarrassing places online. Yep. See ya. Later. He's thinking about death in the Ah, uh... oh, everything is so great in Harfesty. Which is basically just a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Take in the har Harfesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. Yeah, so... Yeah, he's just thinking about, uh... I guess... Uh... The movies. Uh, coffee. Cigarettes. Coffee. Cigarettes. Yeah, as usual. Oh, my aunt. The, uh... Police... Police cat. Hey, Aunt Malkop. Malkops don't carry guns, May. Jeez. Guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Blocking off the road? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No, tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it, then. You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. That Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust giant load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. It's the hit record. We've always had the hit record at Harfest. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone, let's just take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight. Fine then, I'll send all lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. I'm just thinking about, okay, lots of different things. Money, guns, some sort of whirlpool or spinning thing. Thunderstorm. All right. I like that cat that's there. I go up here. It's just there's a little cat in the window. But it's just weird that I'm a cat and there are actual real cats. Like, I, I mentioned this, I think, the first time I played, which is that it's basically like in Disney, how you have... You have Goofy, who is like a humanoid, anth anthropomorphic, like, walking humanoid animal dog, right? You also have Pluto, who is an actual dog. He can't speak, can't walk on hind legs. And then, Pluto's owner is a mouse, and is bigger than Pluto. Makes no sense. And also, um, when Chip and Dale show up, right? They're small and normal size, so they're like actual animals, but they still can kind of talk a little bit. I'm wondering if I should go up here and see if Aunt May will, uh, or Aunt, um, Mall Cop, can't remember her actual name, will get mad if I'm on here. I'll go up here first and see if anything is going on with, um, Bruce near the church. I'll go in there in a minute afterward. Bruce over here? Oh, who's here? Breathe some fire already, dude. Oh, is it Pastor K? Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. A uh, date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling me heading out and them not showing up. You're meeting them at the statue of Saint Ribello. Yeah, the fire breathing guy who like eight people. That's a bit of an oversimplification. But yeah, basically. Who guy to have a statue of? Outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here. But can't we learn something from Saint Rubello? <laughs> Breathe fire. Sure. This statue is part of our Encourage Criminal Acts outreach. It's working. Is 
he over here? Ah, there he is. You gonna go down to Harfest tonight? Dunno, maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. We'll see, I suppose. Anything interesting over here? Oh, look at this. Look at these. Hey. Hello. Hey. Traveler from distant lands. You have journeyed far. And it has brought you here. To us. Actually, I walked like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home. We will tell of your future. But first, be truthful. Tell us, which of these have you seen? A shipwreck? A ghost on a hill? An arrow broken? 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 Really? I, um, hmm. You're all like 14 year old goths. Why am I answering this? Um, well, I think broken arrow, right? Broken arrow. False. You have failed. We cannot help you. You may see us once more, but it is not certain. And then never again. Okay, uh, have fun, kids. Fun is all we have. Do you, like, practice that talking in turn thing? You're not gonna knock on us to the pastor, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. Hmm. Huh. Three weird teens I met. So I guess I should go into the church and see if my mom is there. Maybe we can make up. Let's see if anyone's in here. Probably not. Because Pastor K is out there. Nope. What about mom's desk? There. I'm busy. Okay, she's still mad at me. She is still mad at me. Maybe if I get arrested by my aunt. Let's see what she says if I if I hop on the wires. You might not notice me actually. Might be too high. Check in here and see if the rats are still there. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. We still did the Easter basket blessing at the church and ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. Oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell. Mallard deserves a better memorial. Alright, let's go see Mallard. Mallard, dear dead Mallard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big, beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. 
Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you. And I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Alright, let's see if the rats are still in there. Yep. I want to try to grab them, but I can't. Doesn't really let me do anything. As soon as I touch them, they squeal. They don't like it. Which is fair enough, you know? Why would they like it? All right. Anyone up here? No. Anything up there, though? Oops. Keep missing. Oh, well. I don't think anything is going on anyway. She can't, saw me drop right down and she did nothing, so... But the next day... We should be able to see more star, uh, dusk stars. Because he'll be up on his roof again. Alright. Nothing going on. Probably nothing else there. Nope. I think to get ready, I'm supposed to look at here. Let's see if anyone sent me a message first, though. Nope. Alright. Let's practice the bass for a second. Try Space Dragon. Alright. Yeah. Alright, that went a bit better. Slowly getting used to it. I try to play with both hands now. It's easier. It fits my fingers better. Alright, let's get ready to go to Harfest. Alright. Oh yeah, normal clothes. <laughs> oh yeah, time to get spooky. Sweet. Oh, that does look pretty cool. Witch Dagger. Awesome. No, oh. all right. Guess it's time to go.
I can't jump when I'm like this. Interesting. Hello? Hmm, they must already be out. Harvest. See what happens at Harfest. Halloween, Harfest. I can't jump. I can go into that tent. Why is everyone waiting in big lines here? Oh, there's like a parade. Is singing along with the music. Alright. Hey, hey. What you up to? Seriously? We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When is this thing supposed to start? Uh, 10 minutes, I think? You think? Ugh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear ya. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please, it's a fun part. B. Yeah? I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years. To be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now. And like 80% spooks. Okay, so it's like fake history now. It's like the bad remake. It doesn't respect the source material. Starts off normal, but gets... Anyway. You got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see ye there. Be ye ghosts? Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? <laughs> <laughs> Through the mists of time, I see. Weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow. And within a great dead tree. And besides with, uh, which, a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels, and carrying these three hundred beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O excellent brother. <laughs> You're still wearing the same clothes. O oh, travelers, spare a crust of bread for a needy woman, or I could say... Okay, yeah, I'll do this one. <laughs> Haggard witch. Horrible to look upon. Rule young men. Ye did not even offer one of thy three hundred fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. Thy naughtiness must be met with punishment. I art uncomfortable? <laughs> um. Thy punishment is a curse that shall take ye and thee even this very night. Phew. 
Yee-hee-hee. I was born among these trees, neath the harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. <laughs> Great pageant. 10 out of 10. Five stars. Help, help. Who will help a poor traveler? <laughs> Greg. Uh, um, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir. I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Ah, witch! Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very day, this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Swoons! We, we camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. <laughs> a curse upon rude young men. That's not, um... He has cursed the spring, and now I shall die. <laughs> wow. I am also undone, for I have drinketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye! And yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accusing glare of three hundred ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Uh, um... Crap. For... For each man... Which, for what is a ghost? For each man is determined on his path, and each path leads only to his end. Okay. And yet each path may lead to places unknown. You! From the bus station... Young witch, it is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to... Ain't that the way. So, witch, thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to wander in the night to the stranger places. Oh, god, how did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end. At night... In the woods. That is not the whole of the story. This is your line. <laughs> Forest God, thou hast no power over me. Even now thy end beginneth. Ack, my infernal powers! Shh, young witch. Even now, the world you know endeth. And who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. But where as you go, for there are ghosts. Woo! Take care. And so was founded then this festival. On the Halloween we shall celebrate. 
the dying of the year, and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out. From the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. <laughs> All right. Jeez, thanks, guys. I'm never doing that again. So what are we going to... What are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner and we're watch we're going to watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Ham Panther. I kind of have to go, business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well. Good night. Night. Okay, now I'm left to my own devices. This is garbage. It looks spooky now. Oh no, what? What is going on? What the? Oh my god. Hey, anyone? Shit. Oh no. Pant pant. Where the hell did he go? It. <clears throat> oh no. <clears throat> May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid? He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No! May, now! Ugh, that's frustrating. Wait, what? What's happening? This is a dream? Ooh, spooky. sure what that was all about must have been a dream I guess Hey, May, thanks so much for your help last night. I woke up and realized that completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Hey, dude, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. I'm practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. 
Off to work, bye. All right. Um, yeah. Thing new in here? Probably not. I doubt it. No, probably not even worth coming back in here anymore. All right, let's check. What does the clock say? I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs, like you, but different, huge and spooky, making weird noises at night. Oh, I can't find this thing spooky. Piece of granddad. We need more of those. All right. Um, you're just like the same every day. What is your bird existence like? Do, do, do we have any detective books out here? Of course, of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts. Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You are in fact keeping it very close. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. We have to take like one moment and make it like the official version of us. That's very true. Hey, hun. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? Alright, let's see how this goes after yesterday. Hey, hun. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether or not you... Whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom, about all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later, I'm still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Hmm. Oh, it is gray. Grizzly. They're still out here working though. Is he going to be out here on his roof? Oh, he is. He is out there. Even though it's gray. How can he see anything? What does it say today? B has this dude right outside her window. Constantly. Arnold Stockerbaum. Hello, B. Did you get my texts? <laughs> oh, is that her... Window. Must be. Alright. Let's see if I can get over there. Yep. Miss May Borowski. Present. Hmm. Smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of... Want to see some stars? Yeah. Come, have a look. Right, let's see if we can find any. Ah, I'm blind! Alright, there we go. 
This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Alright, there we go. Found one. Let's see. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. Anything else? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake and they came together and together slew the big snake you learn why did big snake attack the people do you have sympathy for the big snake jeez i don't know but can we just keep saying big snake big snake big snake big snake all right let's see if we can find another one At some point, the sky is going to be full. I'm not going to be able to find any more. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. Oh, you'll like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Gramercy the medium. In life he spoke with the dead. Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive. Not so, his body was dead. So he was like a zombie? But just as smart as before. No looking for brains. They're like normal, but he smelled bad. Just so. Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral? <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chazikov. Willikers. Wow, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple days? Okay, maybe there are more. Sterling, Simone, Big Snake, Gramercy. Alright. It's insane. So how many stars are there? What? I mean the ones we're looking for. Should be a few left, but who can say? We can only point our telescopes and look. Alright. Let's talk to these two down here. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up stuff that I think was real. Then we had a really bad nightmare. Ooh, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on? Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? Cheating on your wife with some gas station skank? In November. Oh, right. Yeah, that's, uh, inconsiderate. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Yes, Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I'll make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> Bigger than you, we should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. Alright, let's get out of here. Talk to this guy, rude man. The Mrs. Varnish the, this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Alright.
Alright, what's going on over here? Let's look in the town center, see if I can steal a pretzel. Alright, let's try it. Be real careful. Hey, hands off. I didn't... I didn't even touch it. This guy is much harder than the guy in the mall. Oh, hello. Hey, it's May. I remember, old clock upstairs ain't stopped yet. What do you want to tell me about Grandad? Well, I'll only say if you really want to know. Uh, yes, I do want to know. You got a history of troublemakers in your family. On your daddy's side in particular. Oh? Go back far enough, you got folks that were around for the real hard times when the workers went up against armies. Oh yeah, I kind of remember something about that. Great, 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 great grandpa or whatever. Might have gotten the number of greats wrong there. Your grandfather and I weren't around for a lot of the violence. That was before even our time. No, we were around to watch the tide roll out. Okay, what does that mean? And? Well, we need to talk again another time. I get tired. Oh, okay. Can I get you anything? I don't have any money. No, I'm just fine, May. We'll talk another time. Okay, see you. That was weird. Oh, look at these tough guys. Hey, teens. Hey. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Cool. Hey, uh... Kind of a weird question, but... Is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night? And didn't come back? Uh... I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. Thought I saw something. Okay, uh... You should tell us if... This is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Alright. Alright, let's uh, look around. It's wet again, and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. Right. Go out here first before we go into the snack falcon. Oh. Hey, dude. Hey, you. Working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question, how do they fit a kitchen in here? Barely. What do you do here? Grillman and janitor. A cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. Alright, that's enough for that. Let's see if um, we see anything out here. Or we saw the guy yesterday. Oh, there's a crime scene. Hey. What's up, kid? Sniff, sniff. You smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird. That makes you, like, half cop? You'll never half catch me, half coppa. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You go to Harfest? Nah, over it. Cool, I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. The guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Dunno. We're not like good friends or anything. Oh yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him out there by all by himself. Ah, oh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. 
When you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk. Do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash crossover, hip hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh, yeah. Like that Doom stuff, yeah? Da da durga. What's that? Totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like a guy from the tracks. What did you do? I was like. It was like some night back in the summer. And out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Oh my god. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Yeah, it was a weird bad time. I'm so upset right now. I know, right? See ya. <laughs> That's all. Alright, let's see. What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone, like a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here? Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright, thank you, May. Ugh, I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Oh, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this. This right here. This is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing... While carrying a teenager, who hasn't been reported as missing. Any theories, May? Uh, they could have gone around the fence. I don't know, May. The fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them, and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence? Ugh. I was running around half the night, getting after teenage BS... And people scared of clotheslines and noises. I, you, you are! Are you trying to kick off a mer horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. Sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? Must have gone through the fence? Really, May? No, yes, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Ugh. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning. Because of what you said last night. The fence up to the old mine. Found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer. And one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. Hmm. Interesting story, yeah. The cop always dies! I wish I could get up there. All right, let's see if we can. Uh... I could check by the church. I don't want to commit to doing anything with uh, B or Greg, the thing, but because I want to go to the church first. What's up, dude? Ugh. Ugh? Long night. Weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Um, just saying hello. Hello. Alright, I think I can come back here when I want to go to band practice. Ow. Back hurts. Um.
Oh look, there are boards now. Instead of the sign. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Uh, let's see... If he's here. Hey, Angus. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How uh, so? I'll tell you about it later. Alright, that's it. Just going to seeing people and telling them I don't want to talk until later. <laughs> I'm going to go check the uh, church first. So, oh, today's my last day. Oh dear, we're going to miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will. I'll come visit. I can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear. What are we going to do without you? Y'all want to go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in. We can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Alright. Alright, let's go up here. There's the... Go over and talk to Bruce if he's there. Or maybe those teenagers are still there. I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's just wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do at least. Hmm. It's because you're a good person. He's thinking of a hot dog. All right, let's see what... Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza. And I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south. And I had to keep up with the other gooses. Or I'd get lost. That's sad. Torrent a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About... About Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Huh, interesting. These kids out here? They are not. Alright, then let's go talk to B. Or maybe I'll see if my mom's in there. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. But he attends, and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. All right, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hun. There's more grace than condemnation. Find a uh, whatever. All right, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. All right, that was not much information. All right, let's go. 
I don't know, like, I just don't quite know, still know what's really going on. Um, because there's still the whole thing about the one guy that got lost that I haven't figured out yet. And then now there's this new thing. Definitely looked like there was a bear with a phone and a someone threw the bear over the shoulder. But there's still this other issue of Casey Hartley of Possum Springs. Last seen at dusk on June 27th, walking westward along the tracks behind the former food donkey, which is the same direction that, that they went. So, the food donkey, he's wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, jeans, and black canvas shoes. If you have any information as to the location of Casey Hartley at any time since his last known sighting, please contact the Possum Springs Police Department immediately. I don't know, maybe it's something to do with Casey. Winter readiness sale. All right. B. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, real weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Do you like putting it together? Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. Think it's band practice today? Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. All right, let's go find Greg. And then we got band practice where I will completely destroy a song. Uh, what does this say today? <sighs> yeah. Statue was drafted. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. That's true. All right. Let's find Greg and go to band practice so I can play terribly. Snack Falcon. There's different flavors of Crunchsters. It's original and Angry Pepper. Now, those to me look kind of like Doritos or something. Yeah. So those would be like lightly salted or, you know, just a regular and then these have, or maybe they, if the original was some sort of cheese flavor, these would be like the spicy ones. There's Snakeums and Fruits Ghost. Fruits Ghost. They've got like a Slurpee machine or something, or maybe that's like, um, uh, just Fountain Pop. Uh, I don't know what fiasco is. What's Snookle? What's you up to? Uh, let's go. Let's go to band practice. Yeah, let's do this. All right. They're gonna play a new song that I don't know. I'm gonna be terrible at it. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh. I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door. And it was super loud. Roof door. Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. It goes out on the roof. Okay. Now I can like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby up to the roof and pee off the side of the building. Oh, so maybe something new is open to us now in his building. What's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair, ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Alright. Pumpkin head guy. Oh no. Oh 
This is hard. This part's way too easy. Oh, okay, I see. No way. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Jeez. Yeah. Wow, mate, that was uh <laughs> pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. Phew. So fast. He just pushed a button. Yeah, she plays drums, but she doesn't actually play drums. She just has it programmed into the laptop drum machine, kind of like you know, probably a garage band or, I don't know, Ableton or one of these things. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. <laughs> what he yells? He's the, uh, I mean, I knew he was the vocalist, but I didn't realize he was like screaming or something. Awesome. I'm going to sound so husky. And anyway, I don't know. I don't even know if they're dreams or not. Okay, so I've told them the information. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after. While I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need something need to do something because this is scary <sighs> they're all gonna think I've been crazy well that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight are you okay dude no I'm kind of freaked out probably wasn't a ghost yeah probably not yeah definitely Ugh. okay fine I'll go figure this out myself oh dude don't be like that you got us Ah, uh, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghosty stuff happening around here. <laughs> like from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have like a ghost section? No, because ghosts aren't real. What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. Or books about it. No, they have the local paper on file. Going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. Alright. The library. Uh. <sighs> Look. Jobs. What, what are you talking about? Jobs. Oh, right. Um, yeah, when there used to be jobs here. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. 
This mural is really affecting you. Forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Okay. Interesting. Pumpkin head guy. Dead. All right. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the micro, uh, microfiche is? Micro, oh yeah, microfish, microfiche. Microfiche. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. What is this? All right. What's going on? Okay. Slow night? Yep. Spooky here. All alone? I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Wonder who Larry is. All right. Up we go. Third floor. Pretty big library for a tiny town. But the, is this actually the third floor or is this the second or, or first? Uh, looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. Born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience mining, construction, well drilling. Never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally, it should be like guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Holy crap. What? It's Charity Berity. What's Charity Berity? <laughs> How do you not know Charity Berity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid. No, I hated Charity Berity. It does look really hateable. It was like... It was like you were kidnapped by a cult. And when they were like brainwashing you, instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask. That's not... Okay, yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was like this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No, I was bored to death. It was like... It was talking forever about, like, being kind to others and, I don't know, helping an older neighbor do engine repair. That sounds nice. Charity Berity... Helps old Mr. Plonko fix his hovercraft. Uh, no, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Berity Berity. Pink Knight Merity. Berity Berity. I just don't care. -ity. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Berity. Danger everywhere. -ity. That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. All right, let's get to the microfiche. Wait, what? Where's the place? Do we need to go up again? I don't know how the elevator works. It just took me here. I thought we were on the third floor. Going up. Yeah. It's an Let's see what's on this one before you go up to the last one. Sniff, sniff. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. There is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain, -like, chain link fence or flew over it or something. While carrying something. Oh, right. Well, that's even more impressive. But we're going to go find this guy because he took someone. And he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. That's not good. 
That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay. It was fine. All right, let's see. What's up here? Something else on the machine. All right, there she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. You think it's so stupid. Why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Uh, uh, we friends, be a twist. Here, let me take this. Let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. All right. So what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. How? Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Well, here. What about this? Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Hey, look at this. A figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out of the open air and then disappeared. Hmm. Possum Jump. Hmm, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump. Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah. That's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. That's actually probably only a mile or so from Mrs. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try and avoid any basements. Or corpse husbands. Co-signed. <laughs> Look at this one. We would like to remind the men of our town to please refrain from spitting on the sidewalk. This unsanitary habit is unseemly and beneath you. Oh, no skirts showing the ankles. Uh, teenage girls using vulgar slang terms and blocking the sidewalks, walking arm in arm. Loud and flirt with boys while smoking cigarettes. Uh... Young men have been seen to engage in the ridiculous behavior of wearing mismatched patterns in their suits. Might be all the rage in Bright Harbor, Harbor but good luck to any responsible, respectable businessman to here to employ you. Um... A uh, bunch of bodies. A tail of teeth. Oh wow, this is gnarly. And awesome. Ha ha ha. Oh my god. Alright, so this says... I found a tooth. It's, it, I found a tooth in uh, the granddad's safe. So it's... His teeth were passed out to the miners. A secret society was created with the vow to protect the workers' interests. Membership was based on owning one of those teeth, and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. These symbols were used around the coal patch to organize meetings and make announcements. Huh. Weird. Interesting, so there's that's where the tooth comes from. Uh, morning. Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. Hey, hey, hey. Ghost spotted. Historical society? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this is when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. 
yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. It says, uh... Here's someone walking around trying doorknobs, blah, blah, blah. Trying to get this map operational for the children. Local... Little Joe. The local ghost story popular some years ago. Alright. That way. Nothing there. Uh, violence in the mine. Rocks were thrown. Nine miners are dead. Two children aged six to seven were shot in cold blood to circulate far outside of our little county. Uh, governor to the strike site to meet with the... Okay. Alright. Uh, events. Uh, that one already did. Possum statue. Tragedy at Stafford Mine. Explosion. Underground gases afflict many. Hallucinations. This one? No ghost. But it says hallucinations and scattered members of the households blah, blah, blah. began hearing voices or seeing things that were not there. Had a discussion with an empty chair. Song. St. Leuven's Lantern, a phenomenon where exposure to specific underground gases leads certain victims to experience waking dreams, auditory hallucinations, and the sense of unseen presences. Preliminary tests indicate gases present in the homes and mining officials are moving their residents until more tests can be completed. So that's interesting. Uh, somebody purchased land. What's this? What did he purchase it for? All right, there's Strike. Here's a uh, little Joe. Uh, the ghost. He got out of his coffin to stroll around. Uh, his grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths. Um, they're protecting the area. Left up patrols. Ooh, look. Gooch, so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. That's actually pretty good. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. That's boogie? Also, is that it? Um, now let's look at more stuff. Alright, let's have a look at it. The statue. Safe distance. Progress spring. Albino groundhog. Uh, statue pie piracy keep your pies safe 
during pleasant weather we're experiencing. Oh no, people, their pies are disappearing. <sighs> the picky culprit is leaving behind only rhubarb pies. I mean, if I can see that, right? Is uh, if you get a, if you have a choice from a load of pies. Would you, choose, would you, would you, I would probably leave rhubarb pies as well. We've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? No. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into society. <laughs> okay. Well, I have. You know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Ooh, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this. Just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. <sighs> so we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's the science. Oh, my freaking god. All right. Let's get out of here. Wait, are we at the lobby now? Okay, yes we are. Oh, who, what's going on here? Ahem. What is, is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. The school district did not fund that art program at all. She made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Um, no. It's going to be bad poetry. Public poetry performance should probably be outlawed. No, that's not true. I just don't think it'll be good. When, do you, when have you ever seen one? School, old roommate. You never mentioned your old roommate. She's an entire story unto herself. Excuse me, are you two staying? If so, would you like to have your conversation up here? No, to both. We're not big into rhyming everything we say. Oh, she doesn't have to rhyme. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. No, that's very true. All right. All right, I'm just going to... Pause the stream for about five minutes. Uh, back in a few.
All right. Back. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, little Joe. Oh, any... Not just any ghost, little Joe. I don't really remember little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know. Right. I know, right? Mysterious. Thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost? Like, filled with, like, dread and shit? I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have to work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have to work. You guys skip on that. You guys skip on, on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is. The Historical Society. You know you don't have to, like, break in. The people there get paid to show it to you. Anyway, I'm in for the Historical Society. Awesome. So, what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is going to be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. All right. Erg. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The erg. Yippers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. Thought you two were getting along? We were, but we talked about it. I just hate to see you two out on the uh, you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. I just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. All right. Check the computer. Uh, multiple messages. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't, uh, I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're running this. Ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also... You better not forget this big paper. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. I had, to, I had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Uh, yeah, she fell asleep on her keyboard. Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's real old. Then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen. I'm not saying there's a ghost... But old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts you in a puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. All right, now this one. Hey May, let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Lips hat. All right. Play a bit of Demon Tower. In the age of blood, a pale one will rise, wielding naught but a simple blade. Who dares to climb the steps of... Demon Tower.
Ancient Doom Spire. Slaughter of the Blood Thief. Alright, uh. Right, dash. Yeah, now we're in normal walk mode. first. Oh, they're like rat kings. Oh, no. Oh. Rat kings. Super creepy. It was just this stuff. Oh, that hurts. I'm assuming you can get through those kind of flashing areas. Oh, his body attacked me. Uh, maybe I can get through there when this, they're like down. Yeah, like that. I can go get this. There we go. And we'll do this, wait for it to go down. healing I can oh I can get into here I forgot got all about that One of my health things is like crumbled. Okay, so I can go over there. Go this way. Oops. Is there one down there? Yeah, there's a health thing. Get the health thing.
All right, time to go back. Fight the boss. Oh, uh oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, this one's hard. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's wrong with me? I'm getting stuck. I have to attack this guy, because... Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna die. Maybe if I kill some, I'll get a health thing. a lot trickier. He just spawns so many. I think you have to probably uh, swoop, him, swoop on him pretty quickly. Alright. I'll surrender to the horror. Ah, dream. Okay. What's left? Oh, God. There's one. I think there's one over here.
Must be that way though, right? Try up here. Here we go. Um, last night inspired me. The longest night getting you the library card. You're welcome. Okay. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. The way message planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Okay. All right. I wonder if I can get um, them, one of them to take me somewhere today. Like to... Um, Like maybe to um, the woodsy place. Sorry, I'm always rude to you, bird. All right. Oops. No, no, no. Down, down, down. All right. I want to go over here. I bet it's still. It's. I don't even know if I'm why I'm checking in here. To be honest, but it's gonna be the same old, same old thing. Yeah. Like, the tooth must be important to have this whole area just for the tooth. Or, it seems so, anyway. Unless you do stuff with that space later. Let's see if mom's here. Good morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. They weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep? I mean, more than the 10 hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was weird interesting okay gotta go be safe hun take it easy you really do look a little tired getting out makes me feel better me too maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air i'll let you know bye sweetie all right let's see i want to see if angus will take me to uh the uh whatever it's called the jumpy place Oh, hey, wait, look, they're gone. Farming, I could farm. 
If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. The problem with farms is the amount of poop. Like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something and shove it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. Wow. A new area. Bridge freezes over before road. <laughs> Welcome to historic Possum Springs. Original county seat of Deep Hollow County. You're not lost, you're here. <laughs> After this, a few miles and you go under the highway and it's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall and the haunted barn in Brittle. Always next year. For campfires and corn dogs. Weird that town ends like BAM! Right here. There's like a line somewhere that no one can see that you can put it on a map. Alright, so I can't go any further than this. There's that whole thing as well with, um... Gregory and Angus's apartment. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. This is a short one, because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. Ahem. I got, a, I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. Too. It's crazy making. What were you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Alright. This guy's saying. I play a mean banjo, Clawhammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know Long Black Veil? Vale? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep, my dad likes that stuff. You know Willer Garden? Nope. Eh. <laughs> so rude. Alright. Um... Let's see if Bruce is out here. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, dip in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too. Real pretty out as well. I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Hmm. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Sorry. Fine. Alright. Yeah, not a great topic. Oh, look! What are you doing out here? Hey, Jen. Hey, May Borowski? Yeah. What are you doing back here? Does Greg know you're back? Nah, no, just here for a day. I had to pick some stuff up from Greg's mom. Hauling back to school tonight. Ah. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Dropped out, kinda. Oh, sorry to hear that. Eh, whatever. What are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. You still go crossbow hunting. Greg still does, kinda. Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. 
Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. I was shooting at that tree over there. Then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it. So I stopped. Oh yeah, that's Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh yeah, all the time. Well, tell that cousin of mine he needs to come and see me out in Bright Harbor. Sure thing. See ya. Take it easy. Jen, Greg's cousin. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's check uh, their house. And then I'll see if I can talk to um, Angus. I think their house is on the next. I think it's on the next bit. Like over here, right? Here? Yeah, it's here. Should be able to get up there now. All the way up to the top. Look at that. Um, but, can I not? Can't get up there though. That doesn't really do much. Ah. Oh, that's really. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Fell down. Now there's a man who loved statues. Don't get a lot of people getting statues made of themselves today. We're securing ourselves, okay? We don't need statues to make us feel better. If I got a statue, I'd have him make me real tall. Darn, okay. I wanted to get... Um... Back up there. Um... Hey. What are you doing outside my window? I don't know. Please go away. What you doing? Newspaper. What's in the news? Yam shortage this Thanksgiving. Ah, uh, jeez, we need the yams. Better get them now before they're gone. There's gonna be, like, yam riots, because not enough yams. Worse reasons. Alright. I want to try to get up there again, because... I think... There might be a way to get over the fence that way, maybe? Maybe. How would I get... It's just... You can't jump up high enough there. Maybe over here... There's a chance. What the hell is a malt? I feel like maybe... Oh, it's just... I, there's no way. Can't get up that high. Hmm. Well, maybe if I go back the other way, there'll be something interesting. Yeah, I wonder if anyone, like, I would like to read about, uh, 
the decline of the malt, you know? What happened to the malt? Hmm, all right. I'm gonna go over to Greg, or not Greg, um, Angus, see if he wants to take me. Angus, so I said I could like take you up to the park. You did indeed. Ready to go? Yeah. I'm so excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with Angus. Do you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghostly stuff, ghosty stuff, ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts. And this is Angus, who doesn't believe in me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. The park. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with the frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. I can't jump on his car. It's a shame. Posted, do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, clearly, there's some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. Well, we'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Alright, let's go. Oh, there's this as well. What's this thing? Puff, puff. You alright? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Sorry you gotta wait for me. You have an inhaler? Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, limes? Limestone. You, like, do something with it in there, and it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So, like, this was all underwater or something at one point. No way. I mean, rocks don't lie. Like, right where we're standing, there were, like, ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Puff puff. Phew. Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No problem. Puff puff. So if this place was underwater... Why aren't there ancient shark bones up here? I don't know, there might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. 
Why? I don't know, I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Hmm. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think, like, all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Oh, he's tired again. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Sorry. Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature, rock, or whatever. Lime stone. I was gonna say, I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Who doesn't? Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird, it used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. That looks spooky now. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in that awesome massacre that like labor strike thing where it was like the miners versus national guard happened back in town like a hundred years ago why are they up here i think these were some of the bad guys and some of the miners didn't want them buried in town oh huh there's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times i guess there's one up here somewhere too well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones! Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. Wow, we're up really high. And really far out. You can see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So, what? Are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at that longest night bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together, and you told us all about them. That's not a thing that happened. Oh wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations, you tell me about them. Okay then. Ooh, is this like a, a mini-game? All right. All right, find me some constellations. Wait, are these going to be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember or dreamed that one time. Uh whichever. 
Remember Mr. Chazikov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. What do I do? Okay, I can draw lines. I guess. This is hard to control, though. <laughs> what? Oops. Is it not working? Maybe I have to connect it to certain ones, yeah. Okay. How about here? Okay, how about just... Here? Alright. Now what? Down here? Hmm. Is it just finished? Do you not understand? Ah, oh, okay. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh, you remember the stories about the forest god? No? Uh, it was like a whole bunch of stories. There was this person, Adina, and... Oh yeah, Adina and the Frozen Lake. Yeah, that's the one of them. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like, shiny things was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh wow, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. Extremely decent. Alright. Not that one. Oh. Okay. There's not any lower stuff. What, they just connect together, do they? Triangle? Bell? Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye looking at you. Okay, that's, uh... I know this one a little from, like, Prog Rock album covers. <laughs> I think the world ends when it rings. That makes sense. It's gonna be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound, usually. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means we're not gonna get rung to death by a bell. Ah, uh, big whale. It's a whale. And it's got, like, the world on its back. Oh, wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. Huh, yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something. I mean, whales are pretty big. Wait, they didn't know what the earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start. Is this going to be a big one? One big long one?
It's a pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And the star's pretty. So, you don't believe in ghosts at all? No, I don't believe in ghosts. Or gods. Or psychic powers, or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either. And like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot. My mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> She'd, like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard. And all this stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. Didn't know it all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for, like, a day at a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd, like, try to develop psychic powers so I could, like, signal the neighbors... Or unlatch the door. It didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, like... I started feeling guilty, too, for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like being abused? I guess that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I, ugh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago. So, who knows where he is. Or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the par pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know, it saved me a little bit, I guess. It's when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah. No ghosts, or oh God. So, like... I feel like I'd been through that. I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so like the constellations, I don't believe there's a whale out there. But, uh, I believe that the stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like we're pattern finders and we'll find patterns. And we like really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to, so I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like God found them, like when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. 
I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. They're like, the stars can stay up there and not give us give a shit about us, but this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Ah, oh, that was sweet. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Oh, jeez. There is. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Paul, wearing some kind of weird coat, like a utility coat or something. Oh god, that's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person, standing in the woods, staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. He, we need to get to the car. But your asthma... I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breaths. In, out. All right. Rawr! You were right there next to him. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Wheeze. Wheeze. You okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Oh, wheeze. It was wheeze. Some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to, uh, went to where you threw up. Ugh, that wasn't too far from there. Ugh, why does nobody believe me? May, it's like every other explanation is more likely than ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry, grouchy, headache, that was scary. It's cool. It was. Hmm. What is that dude? What is that thing? Oh wait, escape. Thought Angus is a psychic. But his hat blocks it. Hmm. No clues, but Angus saw him too. Okay. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. It used to be, but that was because of my job. New job, don't require much like that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. All right.
Hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the park with Angus. How did it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did. Wow, okay, hold on. I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is an annoyingly strident atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. He said it was probably a hunter. Ah! Okay, whatever. Sorry. For what it's worth, I don't not believe you. Thanks. You have a good time otherwise? Yeah, I learned a lot about Angus. He's had kind of a rough life? Oh yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how do you know about this? Uh, because Angus and I have been friends since like 8th grade? Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not like the glue holding all of us together. Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator. Me and Greg don't hang out. Hmm, Angus is good. He is. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Talk to you later. Alright, let's look down here. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Did he not tell you about it? Yeah, he did. You guys saw a weird creepo, huh? Yeah, it was the effing ghost again. Hold on. Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what the hell. Put him on. Hey. Hey, May, this is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird. But there are folks that live up there in the park. And there are hunting camps and stuff. It was most likely a guy out hunting Buck early. Dude, I like felt it. I know, I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us were spooked. Okay, fine. Thanks for going and being brave and stuff. Anytime, I had fun. You can put Greg back on. Hey, 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 dude. I'm an artiste. Were you doing art just now? Sure was. Alright, off to bed. Night, dude. Alright. Hey, May, this is Greg. You and Angus are talking on my computer. Oh, hey, I'm Angus. I'm so smart and have a great ass. Blah, blah, blah. You two are talking a lot. Hold on, I'm drawing him a dirty message in the paint program. It's a... Okay, with his hat on it and a smiley face. I don't know what it even means. Looks like you two are wrapping up. Peace out. Hey, May, it's Angus. Wait. I can attest that his picture is kind of baffling. Okay, good night. Right. I'm not going to play Demon Tower. It's hard. All right. This one looks pretty strange. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. 
Are you God? No. Oh. So, seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God, and I am asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, you can't... Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning, and I am here then and here now, and there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So, what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Uh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear? Or a tear? With their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. <coughs> Excuse me. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Ooh. Ah! Oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air. And closing the sky. Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything. And it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming. And you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now, there is only the whole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? Bare existence, meaning nothing. You are atoms, and your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Very weird. I think I will end the stream a bit early there. I might I might stream again in an hour or two. Um Yeah. But 
my back hurts, so I'm going to get off for a bit. All right, thanks, everyone who stopped by. And, uh, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, catch me live on twitch.tv slash altered spate. Like if you liked. And, uh, yeah, appreciate it. See you next time. Goodbye.